reviews and information, advice and recommendation, Pinhead RC. So today on Pinhead RC, we have the Mini Coke Can Racers, also known as Pocket Racers. Um, I believe they have a few names. Um, really cool cars, you know, for trips. Let's say you go to a hotel room, uh, you go to Grandma's for the evening, uh, you know, or maybe you just go in the park uh, with your kids. You, know, and you just got to carry light. Uh, inside here we have the car, which gets locked in. Uh, this pop can all stays in place. Um, the antenna, let me see how that goes. You can have a little looks inside. And you see it all inside there, how it all locks in place. This locks into the top of the remote. Pretty cool car, especially for travel. And it may not be the world's smallest car. It isn't hobby grade, and it doesn't have. Uh, yeah, steering on it like other RC remotes. It's, it has left, right, up, and down. But it does have lights, and it has a steering trim where you adjust it right on the car here. Proportional steering, that's the word I'm looking for. And an on and off button. But other than that, it is a really cool car. I like it. It's got front lights, got back lights. Comes with cones. Oh, it's pretty fast, actually. You look at how it's going. Try to move. Oh, almost made it. So we're trying to see if it'll go up the ramp. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Oh, that was a cool little car. Oh, on uh, the battery. We'll show you how that charges here in a minute. Actually, uh, charges right off the remote. Hope to get you one, sir, and that way both can have one back in the yeah. kitchen. <laughs> Days it's wet. You know, you're stuck inside and you can't take your bigger RC cars out. I believe this runs about $20, you guys. I will try to find a link. eBay, I'm going to believe. I'd imagine Amazon. I'm playing hockey with the uh, cones, yeah, as you guys can see. So do you think it's similar to the Hot Wheels? The Hot Wheels is way faster. I, um, you know, as far as the control goes, I don't want to say the Hot Wheels either. is a little better in this game, but we'll have to do a video on that. There is a Hot Wheels one like Sarah was talking about. Um, it is really fast. Like really, really fast. It has a turbo button on the remote on the Hot Wheels one. Oh, I can't get it. <laughs> ah, come on. <laughs> Missed the plug. Comes up again. Driver's training all over again. Let me give it a try in here. Let me see what you think. Kind of have to get close to the two. Like, I'm not close to at least how far I was. That's the other thing you guys I'm talking about right now is that um, remote, like, You have to be, uh, you can't be too far away from it because of the signal. I thought it was going to be harder with the buttons because I'm not used to them. Yeah, I know. It's actually pretty easy. It's like a, almost like a Nintendo controller, don't it seem to feel like it? Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm 
Yeah. I've had it for a couple of years now, so. You, know, you let younger kids play with stuff and you never know how you're going to get it back. <laughs> yeah, that might be close. Looks like the battery's almost dying. Yeah. So, here, all right, I'll pick up the car and we'll show them um, underneath where you charge it at. Um, right there, you open that up. I'll let you have the honors and then show the wonderful viewers where it plugs in at. It plugs in right on the bottom. And then the I got turn. Yeah, you got to turn the car off. See the red lights on that we we're just talking about. And then you let it sit for about five minutes. Uh, I don't know about five minutes. It doesn't take long at all, you guys, but. Um, Pretty cool car, guys, for 20 bucks. Especially if you're traveling and you got to travel late. Again, thank you for watching our videos. Hit that like button. Don't forget to leave a comment. Happy bashing, and we'll see you guys soon.